So I was invited to a 4 devs 1 art pack challenge, and the goal was to make a game in 3 days using the same art pack. Let's see how I did it. The first thing I did was opening Game Maker Studio 2 and create a new project. But wait, what art pack are we using? Well, we are using RPG Urban Pack by The Kenny's Store. And the first thing that came to my mind was to create an RPG like Final Fantasy or Pokemon. But I didn't want to make that, so the second thing that came to my mind was a little car game. But I also didn't want to make that. So without knowing what to make, I took this little guy as my main character and started doing some movement code. Because we don't have time to waste. So here we have a simple movement for the character, but the problem is that it moves faster on diagonals. So I added some code to fix that and now it's moving at the same speed in all directions. While I was working on the movement, I thought that it would be nice to make like a shooter game. So I started working on that, but my first choice for the weapon wasn't too good, so I just took a signal and I used it as a weapon. With that idea in mind, I just started coding the sign to make it able to shoot and as you can see, I also made a little effect for the player when he changed directions. Don't you think that the sign is very static? Well, I do, so I just started making some effects and at first I just coded it in a way that it will change smoothly its position to a direction you're facing. But I didn't like that, so I made it in a way that goes around the player depending where you are pointing the mouse. Once I had that working, I wanted to add some game feel to the game, and to do that, I added a screen shake effect. And that will be the end of the first day. Okay, it's second day, so I first added a new mechanic for the player, and it's a dash, giving him a tool to avoid enemies attacks. Wait, enemies? Well, I started creating some enemies, mixing some of the assets together, and I first make them receive damage, and once I had that, I started coding their movement. And here is where an idea came to my mind. What if the life of the player is his ammo? So working around that idea, I create a new type of enemy that will return you life every time you kill it. And I changed the design of the first enemy because I didn't like it. And that would be the end of the second day. Okay, today it's last day, so some things I did was that I added the enemies the ability to shoot and I also created for them some health bars, added some sounds and even I created a boss fight. Unfortunately, I forgot to record what I was doing because I was focused on finishing the game and wrapping it all together, so I apologize. But I created a little level, added some collision to the player, a menu screen and I even made a little text system to communicate like a basic story and all of that. And well, I had no time left, so I uploaded the game and this is what I create. Wow, that was luck, I'm not gonna lie. And well, for this experience I can say that it was challenging to create something in just 3 days. And in some moments I really got frustrated, but overall it was a nice experience and I learned some new things that I will use in my future projects. Now let's see what the other devs create. Drag Race Taxi Bike Sanderwood Whoa! <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go! Ah, that's a Oh, alright, nice, nice. Trunk. Uh, let's go. And we did it. Nice. Continue. Well done, you have some serious skills. Well, overall, pretty good. Well done. Leaving Brandonville by Marlin Media. Okay, let's play. That song reminds me to Mario. So, so I think that the goal is 
that we need to escape from the city or at least that's the name of the game so let's try <laughs> yeah down right down and we're out okay that was nice challenging the end okay taxi rampage start uh, no that way yep. okay that's one no 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 <laughs> um no 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 <laughs> Okay, good game. It's fun. It's hard and, and fun at the same time. If you want to play the games or check the other devs channels, there will be links to all of that in the description. And don't forget to give your feedback in the comments. So that will be all for the video, thank you for passing by and I hope you had enjoyed it. If you liked the video and you want to see more, consider subscribe. And without anything more to say, I'll see you in the next video, take care.